Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Techno DBA. This channel is created for DBAs to gain the knowledge and learn to perform day-to-day -day activities. So in today's video, we will discuss about starting and shutting down the Postgres services on our Windows system. This is basically helpful for the people who are running their Postgres instance on our Windows laptop or Windows system or uh, Windows server. Okay, so let's see how it is done. In order to start, stop and restart the Postgres services, you need to know the data directory. This is a data directory where actual data is getting saved. Your data files are residing there. Let's see that. I was already checking, but I'll again log in and show you. Okay, all right. Logged into Postgres as a Postgres user. So using show directory will show you the data directory that is used in our operation so there is another method from pg setting which you can select the particular setting okay the select setting from pg setting where name equal to this data directory so this is a data directory and to see the status of this postgres instance you can execute this command pgctl then hyphen D and then the data directory and status. You just need to change the last uh, words of this one. Okay. I'll see in order to do that. I'm just opening another session. Okay. Just browsing to our uh, executables. Okay. This is uh, all Postgres executables are available. So I'll put this status. So it's saying pgctl server is running and this is a process ID. This is a data directory and this is a Postgres executable available. So it's giving us uh, the complete information. Now you can see I already logged into some one instance of the Postgres. Now I'll shut down it. Okay. I'll stop it. This is a stopped okay server stopped if you try to do some operation here then it will show server closed connection unexpectedly service terminated so this is status now if you try to see the status it will show you it's not running okay no server running now i'll start the server using the using this start command okay okay it's starting uh, this is a default port for postgres okay and it says server started there is one another option that is a restart you don't need to stop and start you can just restart if you want in case of some parameter change you change the parameter but some parameters need server restart then you can just do that server restart okay uh, this is how you can do now if you try to connect i'm connected now so this is how you can do do start stop status and restart there is another way using services.msc you will find all the services uh, there and uh, from there you can start and stop the services the, basically there are two methods using pgctl and using services.msc okay that's it guys please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you